Oh, education class, education class for dabs, for people that are greenhorns and smoking cannabis. Um, this could apply to so many different people, including Dragon Lord Frodo, who is trying to do dabs with whatever somebody sends him or gets him, which could or may or may not be actual product. But let's just make this perfectly clear. The people who are instructing this disabled person to smoke, smoke dabs, they're not helping him at all because they're not giving them good information or they're not explaining it in full. So whoever's explaining this shit to them, I think they're leaving a lot out on purpose so that they can watch them on live stream screw up. So um, for all greenhorns trying to learn how to fucking dab, there's many ways you can do it. I did one video on how to, a poor man can do dabs out of a regular pop pipe and a normal Bic lighter and or another way so let me just first let's explain the poor man's way the poor man's way is you get two little uh quarter size pieces of tin foil like that put them together so that they're a little more got a little more integrity get your dab with your dabber and put it in there be careful when you pull it off sometimes it'll pull the tin foil with it so you got to be careful slide it off real quick then close the tin foil up like a little Hershey's Kiss or something like that. Twist it, put it in a bowl, light it, and it'll smoke just like a regular dab. All right? Oh, there's a the camera. I always forget where the fucking camera is. And then for regular dabs, DLF, Michael, Constantino, I'm going to explain this to you one time because that's all you should have somebody do it is one time. First of all, without tempered glass, you're not going to be able to do a dab, all right? You're going to break the glass. The glass is going to break as soon as it gets hot. So throw that one out the window because that's not going to work. <clears throat> Another thing is you really need a normal torch. You can do dabs with a shit torch that's that big, but the truth of the matter is most people don't. They get the regular fucking torches so they can get their pen hot, proper, well and proper. So... Uh, first of all, you need a real heat-tempered pen, um, straw, if you will. And you cannot, that's what they're called, straws. You cannot fucking uh, break a pen like that with heat unless you get some shit fucking company that didn't properly heat temper it. But the bottom line is, when you use the straw, Michael, all right, you heat it up until it's hot, not too fucking hot or you'll fucking... And you make sure that you don't barely touch the fucking shit you're cooking. You don't do it off the paper. First, you throw it in the, the uh, um, refrigerator. You get it cold because if you don't, it'll fucking be hard to handle, especially if it's wax and it's not crumble. Crumble is a better quality wax, but it's called crumble because it's easier to handle. So when you're dabbing with the pen, you don't just get it hot and then pick the dab up and do this or anything. No, you fucking keep it in the little dish. You put it in a little glass, heat tempered glass dish. A lot of the whack, I mean, a lot of the crumble comes in a glass dish. I think even they're heat tempered, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I don't know if that's true, but I think that may be the case. Anyway, <clears throat> then you get the piece of dab. If you want, you can do it this, you know, you can take it off. And if you have something other than a pen, you can put it in the bowl. But anyway, the bottom line, he doesn't have a bowl. So you keep it in a tempered glass container like this. It's about this big. That's how they sell it, the crumble. That's how they sell the wax, I think, anyway. Um, or the crumble. The wax they sell in parchment paper. But like I said, if you got the parchment paper, you have to put it in the freezer. Or else it's going to get all fucking messy. And you're gonna, not going to get it all off. And you got to keep it cool until you need to dab it. Then you, you, you know, you let it cool off and then you get the dab. I mean, you let it warm up and then you get the dab, put it back in the refrigerator. All right. So when you get your pen hot with the torch, then you go right where the little piece is that you want to smoke inside the glass tempered glass dish. 
You don't want to just stick the pan in a giant bunch of fucking crumble or, or wax. No, you got to fucking make sure there's just a little area that you're going to touch. Because that shit's strong. Concentrate will fucking make you choke your ass off if you don't know what you're doing. So you got uh, just a little teeny piece. It's got to be about fucking, you know, it's got to be like fucking teeny, like that. A dab is really small. And then when you heat the pan up, then you go into the dish and you hit that little piece that you got separated off and you take a hit. That's how you do it. DLF, Michael Constantino. Now you know. Never use an eyedropper. It'll fucking break. I'm going to go watch his video right now to see if he actually fucking broke the fucking eyedropper because the chances are he did. And he's probably going to have glass in his stomach. Probably somebody sent him honey instead of... Or whatever, if they sent it to him or if they gave it to him or wherever, however he got it. He says it smells like honey. I don't know any concentrate that smells like honey. And if there is one that smells like fucking honey, probably a red flag. <laughs>